Welcome to another episode in our instructional series on the Canon EOS 77D. I'm Rudy Winston from Canon USA, and in the next few minutes, we'll look at the 77D's autofocus system and how you can change the size of the focus area to best suit different situations. A few of the highlights of the camera's 45-point AF system include coverage over much of the viewfinder area, adjustments you can make to the AF display in the optical viewfinder, AF at effective F8 maximum apertures when using Canon brand tele-extenders, and a choice of four different AF area settings to change the size of your focusing area. Join me now for a more detailed look at AF area control with the Canon EOS 77D. AF area defines the size of the active AF point or points being used for autofocus. This strictly applies to focusing through the camera's eye-level viewfinder using its 45-point AF system. When you shoot still images using the LCD monitor with live view or record video, you're using the dual pixel CMOS AF system, and we'll discuss that in our episode about HD video. A dedicated AF area select button on top of the camera lets you toggle through the four available area choices. Each time you press this button, you cycle to the next possible AF area option. We'll look at each of these. There are four different options for selecting the size of your active AF area. These are automatic AF point selection, single point AF, zone AF, and large zone AF. Look into the EOS 77D's viewfinder for the first time, and you'll probably see a bright view with thin black outlines. These show the overall area that is covered by the 45 AF points in the finder. And when the thin outlines appear, the camera is set to automatic AF point selection. Let's talk about automatic AF point selection first since it's the factory default setting with all Canon EOS digital SLRs. All 45 AF points are active. When you press the shutter button halfway down, the camera reads your scene and usually selects those AF points that fall on the nearest parts of your subject. You'll see them as larger square boxes in the viewfinder. So when automatic AF point selection is active, the camera does show you each time where it's focusing. If you're shooting moving subjects and your AF operation is set to AI Servo AF, this automatic AF point selection is a little different. Instead of just focusing on the nearest subject inside the 45 point area, you'll instead see a single AF point inside the thin outlined area. This marks where you start to follow your moving subject. If and when the subject moves off this area, the automatic AF point selection will continually change AF points to maintain focus on the subject as it moves around the AF area. One last thing, you can move this single starting point if you want to begin tracking your subject off center. Press the AF point select button on the back and then turn the top and or rear dials to move the point where you want, or alternatively, Press the button and then press the left, right, up, or down parts of the quick control dial on the back of the camera. Stop when that starting point is where you want. Automatic AF point selection is actually a very effective way to shoot candid pictures in quick, run and gun situations, such as taking pictures at events like a wedding reception. And if you have a single moving subject that tends to move erratically around the frame, the automatic AF point selection combined with AI Servo AF may simplify your task of getting good, sharp pictures. This is perhaps the primary way the critical, experienced photographer wants to begin using his or her AF system. You work with one AF point, and you can move it anywhere within the 45-point array. To make it easier to move from one spot to another, it's possible to set custom function 3, 8 to all constant. This shows your current active AF point as a large box in the viewfinder and all remaining locations as smaller boxes. To move the AF point in the EOS 77D, look through the viewfinder 
and press the rear AF point select button. Then turn either dial to move the active AF point where you want. Once you move it, it stays there until you repeat the process and move it again. The main benefit of using a single AF point is precision. You can put the AF point directly on one part of a subject and put the sharpest focus right there. Whether it's a subject's eye in a portrait, the face of an athlete running toward the camera, or one tiny part of a close-up subject, single point AF gives you the utmost focus control. Single point AF, of course, works with both stationary subjects in one-shot AF and with moving subjects in AI servo AF. If you're shooting action, however, only that one AF point will be active, and it's up to you to move your camera and lens to keep that point upon your primary subject. Sometimes a single AF point sees too small of an area. You want the control to tell the system to focus on part of a subject or scene, but want to have a bigger AF area. Zone AF is a larger cluster of AF points grouped together. It uses nine AF points. Any points outside the active zone are ignored, but you are free to move the zone to any of nine predefined locations. As with single point AF, to move the active zone in zone AF, press the AF point select button and then turn either dial or press the quick control dial up, down, left, or right. As soon as the zone is where you want in the viewfinder, stop and tap the shutter button. Once you set zone AF, the camera will focus on the nearest subject that falls within the active zone of AF points. So even if zone AF sees an entire subject, like a large sunflower, for instance, it will always try to put sharpest focus on the nearest part of that sunflower, which falls within the active zone of points. This works the same in both one-shot AF and AI servo AF modes. The final choice you have for AF area is called large zone AF. The concept here is very similar to the zone AF we just explained, but it uses a larger cluster of AF points. And this large zone can only be moved to one of three possible locations within the 45 point array. Again, the camera will focus using those points within the large zone that see the nearest part of your subject, whether it's still or moving. And it will always display the currently active AF points that it's using, showing them in your viewfinder as larger AF icons. In AI Servo AF, you'll see them continually change in your viewfinder as the AF system keeps up with moving subjects. Since large zone AF is putting sharpest focus on the nearest thing it sees, it can be useful for subjects like moving cars, where you may want the sharpest focus on the front leading edge of the car, rather than its windshield or some other part that's in the middle of the frame. In landscape shots, it can be a quick way to ensure focus doesn't just jump to the background. The bottom line is that like many of Canon's mid-range and high-end cameras, the EOS 77D gives you excellent control and flexibility with its 45-point AF system. Far from being limited, you have four possible AF area settings to dictate where and over how large an area you want the camera to focus. AF area is a powerful tool, and if you're stepping into the EOS 77D to get more control in your photography, it's a great feature to work with. For Canon USA, I'm Rudy Winston. Thanks for joining us.